Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. And some really annoying enemies and a really confusing area. Here we have the Room of Hope. I'm not very hopeful that this area is going to be not very confusing. Too many negatives. Anyway, let us continue forward. Now, we've got another one of these guys. They do pop up relatively often. Ooh, HP. Nice. Pull this guy up here. Get him out of my way. And here we have another area we can't access because of the water. I'm going to go this way first. Now you got to watch out because these guys will pop out randomly, or at least so it seems. Can I get that please? Thank you. There we go. You don't want to take too much damage in this area because it's a little far to get to your um, to the dark spaces in this area. There we go. Now, what I did there is I took the left route. Taking this right route over here will take us back to the same area. But first, we want to head over here. And here again, like I mentioned in the last video, we have statue, statue, and where their line of sight meets, we have an empty treasure chest. I wonder if that's trying to tell us something for later in the game. Not much later, actually. What's uh, kind of funny here is if you don't figure this out and you try and go back, Lily will explain it. But basically, yeah, like I've been saying, the line of sight of the statues. You go where they meet, say about here. Hmm, first shot, not bad. And you found the Statue of Hope! Hmm, yes, there was a room with the same name. Still not very hopeful about uh, not getting lost in this area. The odd thing about this is even if you find it, they don't expect you to, the game, and Lily gives you the exposition anyway. <laughs> Treasure chest is in the exact spot where the line of vision of both statues cross. Uh, so yeah, basically they're telling you to go back to that room if you did not already get it. Now, I do want to run over this way and take the other route back because there are more enemies here. And they're kind of annoying. That one you can kill just like that. Don't even have to get close to them. Yeah, you notice there, the bottom one took uh, four damage, but the top one took uh, the full six damage. There's actually, like, you can bounce enemies off other enemies in this game and get some additional damage. Here, just wail on the guy. Bad AI, gotta love it. Makes the game easy for people like me who are not particularly good at these games. Come on, wake up. There we go. Now, how many more enemies? 11 enemies. We can't actually fight any more of them right now. Now, you will eventually, well, you will find out right now. Let's find out how to continue on in this area, since we've explored all the area we can at this point. Items. Statue of Hope. Raise the Statue of Hope. From somewhere. I wonder where that is. It's probably coming from the four figures that are about to appear right behind you. One. Two. Three. Four. Four evil specters. The sun god Rama. Hmm. What kind of power does the ocean hold? Well, let's find out what happened here. Let's get out of here. Hmm? There's less water than before. Aha. We can explore new enemies. Er, we can destroy new enemies and explore new areas. <sighs> first thing you want to do is head down here because there's only a few enemies here and that's all the reason ow, that there is to go down in this direction yeah this area is kind of annoying because you're going back to the same areas you've already been to explore areas that you couldn't actually get to before wait for the spikes run across now that we've cleared that area head back in this direction which is basically going back the same way we already were 
though it does look a little different because that was not there before because I guess it could not exist underwater. So let's go up here. Whoa, and we have new enemies. Let's block that. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. And eight more enemies and a chest in this area. You do want to go left first, and I will explain why very shortly, because it's not going to take us long to get to our destination. This is a short path. Hurry up and die. Thank you. Wee ow. That hurt. There's a dark space over here. Yeah, that's the main reason. And in addition to it just being a dark space, even better, there's nothing else up there. It allows us to become free then, which is very much appreciated in this area. Yay! Definitely want to turn into free Dan in this area. He is very helpful because of his quick attack speed. Oh, mm. Moo began to rise from the sea when we began our journey. Why? Location of Rama, the king of Mu. Okay. Sure, why not? Though that's not exactly what we... Well, we do find him. Alright, I'll shut up and stop complaining about the game for a few minutes. Run past there. And now we can head down, which is a much longer path. Go away, please. Thank you. Yeah, not too interesting at the start. Random enemy to piss you off and that you can't you can't kill those things by the way, just in case you were wondering. Ow! Die. Yeah, nothing else over here. It's the one thing that uh um Freedan does not have. You can just pull these up here, and then you're supposed to use them to run up here because you can't get up here normally. Basically, you get yourself up to the top, and you have to basically stay here. So if you don't kill them, you're kind of in trouble. There we go. I took a little more damage there than I wanted to. Block that. Make sure I don't get hit. They are a little more annoying because you can't hit multiple, you know, hit them multiple times when you're not will. However, Freedan just does so much more damage that it kind of makes up for it. Don't kill the uh, the one that's free there right now because, well, you'll see. Yeah, see, it opens up the areas there. And that's not really good. Now, up here, you have this guy over here leading to an area we can't access yet. And up here, there's another area we can't access yet, dealing with another one of those holes that uh, I showed you before. Just I showed you the ability to access it from the other side. In order to access them, we have to continue on and get ourselves a new ability. Now, this is kind of unfortunate. These little slimes, you would hope that you could kill them like that. However, it doesn't work. So I have to go all the way up here then and if you see the spikes hit the switch run run down again and you clear it and continue on here how many enemies do we have to deal with uh, there's some stuff up there we can't do much with yet Let's see if we can take out this guy there we go should only need three hits don't worry about the enemies up there you can poke them and kill them but I don't want to do that quite yet there's a specific reason why I don't want to do that yet. And I'll go over that when we get there. Okay, now what else? Whoa! Ow. Ow! Not hurt, don't do that. Run! Again, not particularly worried about taking damage here, you know, because, well, pretty obvious, I am close to a dark space. Anytime I say that, I'm not worried about taking damage. Either I know I can get through the next area until the next dark space, or the dark space is two feet away. Either way, ha ha! And we have another new ability for Will, which is very much appreciated at this point in the game. Both 
you know, to advance the game, and to damage enemies. The Psycho Slider. Followed by very slow dialogue. Very slow scrolling text. And Will can use the Psycho Slider. You can now use Sliding Attack to pass through small passageways. Push the attack button while running. It's actually quite easy. I should probably heal. Yeah, I should probably heal. Don't be so slow going in and out of the dark spaces. Come on. Wow. There we go. Yeah, he'll tell you to go through narrow corridors, blah, blah, blah. You know, to overlook cracks in the cliff. Yes. Yes. Okay, the way Psycho Slider works is just like he says. As you're running, hit the attack button. Not complicated. You don't have to be running for very long. Yeah, you can just kind of do it over and over again, and you gain the same level of invincibility as you would if, um, whoa, ow, that sucked, as you would if you were using your jump attack. So it it is better in almost every way for the majority of enemies. Now here's one of those uh, areas we can just slide under. And there's nothing over there. However, when it comes to dealing damage, it has a unique ability. Uh, well, it's not really unique. A lot of the abilities in this game can do it. Let's uh, bring back this. Slowly. You could also attack it forward, but... I'm lazy and I can stand in place doing this, so meh. There. Now press the up button after you hit the uh, little bouncy thingamajigger. Okay, where's a, another enemy? I meant to use a different ability on that. Here, you do that, wait for him to come alive, slide, and you can actually hit them twice. A lot of abilities seem to have this, but the Psycho Slider seems to be do seems to be the one that does it the most reliably. So let's take a look at this again. Yeah, see, hits twice, does more damage than your normal attack by a substantial margin. Very, very nice. All right, basically with these guys, you wait until they wake up, and then you use it after they get up. Or you could use jump attack too. I guess that works. I turn, bugger. Don't do that. So yeah, basically wait, slide, and do a jump attack afterward. Pretty much all you need to do to take these guys out. No way. Don't do that. Let's kill some of these guys here. And this will create a statue here. I wonder if we need to do what we've already done once and do it again. Hmm, I wonder. Let's kill that one. The reason why I didn't want to kill this guy, this was the guy I said that you could kill him from down below, but I didn't want to because of a certain reason, is because that reveals this. And I wanted to do them both in sequence because it kind of makes sense. And here we get an attack boost, which is much appreciated, of course. And that's a dead end. So, yeah. Where these two statues meet is right here to the left of the spikes. And here we get the Statue of Hope! Yeah, well. Yeah, this time we don't go back to the same room we've already been to. We have to go back to a room that we actually have, well... We may have seen, but we haven't been able to, whoa, to do anything with yet. Actually, it's quite a ways away. So, if we're going back, which, you know, we're going to have to go. There's a lot of backtracking in this area. It's kind of annoying. Probably why it's so confusing, because you lose track of where you are. Ah, here's my uh, slide point, so let's get out that way. Now head over here, and hit that switch to get past here, and go back up, 
eventually we'll get back to the other one of these uh, sliding points that we saw before, the one I mentioned up here. Down below is that uh, stupid fireball dude. Taking this is basically a shortcut. You can run all the way around, but this is the first one I noted. And if we head back this way, this is eventually the start of the area. So just so you know where we are. And this is the first one I showed you that had water on it that we couldn't do anything about. Now down here is a treasure chest, but we can't do anything there yet. So let's go over here to the other statue or room of hope use the statue here and again we will be met by three spirits no 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 that, that that's a different thing altogether this is four spirits and they don't have quite such interesting dialogue Meh. the sun god rama yeah, they really say absolutely nothing. They do not explain what you're supposed to do in this area. You're just kind of thrown into this area and said, Have fun figuring this out, jackass! Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, doing that releases this treasure chest, and we get a red jewel. Very nice. Now, best strategy at this point... Oh boy, what's I supposed to put that toy or that toy? Um, time to check map. Okay, now I'm, I just wanted to make sure, because if I start taking you guys around in circles, you will not like me. You'll get even more lost than you were before running to the internet for help. Let's go down here. Here we can go left, or we can go right. Let's go right first. Right is a dead end. And there are also enemies over here. Ooh, blocky. Ow. Block. Ooh, HP. Ow! Bugger! Ah, and here we get additional defense, which, considering my play, <laughs> probably need that. Nothing over to the right there, so let's go up. Here we have four enemies to deal with. These are all the areas we've been to before. Make sure you block. So, basically, we're just killing the same enemies we've in the areas we've uh, already been to. Again, with these guys standing in the middle. Bad AI. Just keep beating on them. Oh! I attacked the chest and I opened it. Go figure. We get the Rama statue. Nice! Okay. Thank you. Now let's take out the last guy, giving us more strength. Again, much appreciated. Now we need to backtrack to that point where I said we could go left or right. And we're going to slide under the passage to the left this time. Yeah, like I said, there's nothing over here. Think nothing. Here, we want to slide through here. Kill annoying enemies before they can actually kill us. Oh no, there's too many of them. Too many of them. Whatever shall I do? Um, run around in circles aimlessly. And get an HP boost. Much appreciated, even though there is a dark space right up here. This is actually the one we got the Psycho Slider at, so you have kind of a point of reference for this area. Do you want to head over, well, up in a general direction. And up here, we have enemies to deal with. Another thing you can do is use your Psycho Slider on them if you kind of know where they're going to be and take them out relatively quickly. It's a great little ability to have, does a lot of damage, very good for taking out enemies, especially if there's, uh, you know, you know, if there's, ow, bugger. Unfortunately, you can't really do Psycho Slider upstairs or, ow. Or anything else really. Sorry about that, uh, someone just came in there. Here we have one last enemy, at least I think it's one last enemy, and we get more HP. Nice. And here we get, any guesses on what that is? Yeah, 
another Rama statue. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's all the time I have for this episode. We've cleared off all the enemies in pretty much every room. I think all of them. I may be wrong. I will run back and I will uh, check to make sure that I've cleared all the enemies because I get kind of turned around in this area. But uh, the main idea is I'll meet you back here by this dark space. We're going to have to do a loop here. If you want to fight the next boss with Will, you're insane. And it's extremely hard to do. And I do not recommend it in the slightest. So, I'm going to make sure I have free Dan for that. In order to do that, I need to make a very long path through there, which I will show you just so you know you know how to do it. It's kind of a weird way around. It's what we've already done, but it's just... A lot of people, from what I've heard, don't seem to know how to do this, so I want to make sure that, you know, you know how to do this. Anyway, that's all for this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.